We've done a number of videos on this channel about cooking oils, what to buy, what to avoid. And I really want to stress that some cooking oils are terrible for you in so many ways, and some are really good for you. So this video is about the three worst and the three best cooking oils. Let's start with the worst ones. The worst ones by far. Number one is canola oil. That's public enemy number one. Also public enemy number one would be soybean oil. Other oils that are terrible are peanut oil and corn oil. They're so bad they actually don't have them here at Whole Foods. And then these two also are not great. Sunflower oil and safflower oil. The problem is these are the kind of oils that most people use at home. And if you walk around the grocery store, these are the kind of oils they use in almost all pre-made products. Why are these bad? Because traditional canola oil and soybean oil, corn oil and peanut oil and sunflower oil and safflower oil are processed to death. Listen to how they do this. They actually superheat the plants to about 212 degrees to extract the oil from the plant. Because they want to get 100% of the oil from the plant, they use a chemical called hexane, which is actually a neurotoxin, to extract the oil. They say that during the refinement process, the hexane is removed, but studies shown by Cornucopia years ago that some of the hexane remains. So it's processed to death with a chemical. When you super process and heat an oil like this to that level of processing, it actually alters the fatty acid to what your brain thinks is a trans fatty acid, which is really, really bad. And the most important thing to me also is that these oils are highly inflammatory. Inflammatory foods lead to a lot of issues like cholesterol and a whole other host of issues, which is why we've done videos on this channel. You can watch afterwards about the best low inflammation foods. Now, if you're getting something like a canola oil or a soybean oil, it also comes from GMO plants. Add the GMOs to all the bad things I just said. That's not the kind of stuff you want to put in your body. Now, I am here at Whole Foods and you'll notice it actually is organic and expeller pressed. Now, if you're going to use the oil I just talked about, like a canola, like a safflower or a sunflower, you want it to be expeller pressed. That means they can't in general use hexane especially if it's organic but it's not processed like crazy i wrote this down when you're doing expeller pressed temperatures go from about 140 to 210 so still not ideal but way better than traditional uh, canola oil that's expressed with the high heat and the hexane uh, the thing is also with expeller press is that it's slightly better so let's say you did want to deep fry something at home you don't want to splurge for one of the good oils i'm going to talk about you might want to use an expeller press sunflower or safflower oil those are the better plant-based oils something like a canola oil is not good and something like corn oil and uh, soybean oil have high omega-6 fatty acids stay away from those so when you see at most grocery stores like a mazola or a wesson oils those are the toxic ones i just talked about you want to avoid they're really really bad so what do you go for then the three best healthy uh, and minimally processed oils in the grocery store are number one avocado oil number two virgin coconut oil and number three extra virgin olive oil now we did a video last week that's very very popular on the channel about fraud and scams in the avocado oil industry so before you go and buy it please watch that video a lot of avocado oil in the uh, country is either rancid expired or cut with peanut oil and other processed plant-based oil, plant oils you want to avoid the two best brands are actually this one chosen foods and also another brand called mari ann's it's because they're made with avocados from mexico and then processed either in mexico or here and like i said if you're a costco shopper they have both of those brands for the best price ever so i would actually deep fry with this because this is a great substitute for canola oil both are high heat neutral flavored oils that are really 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 good for that kind of cooking but unlike canola avocado oil is actually good for you it's heart healthy and it lowers your cholesterol get the avocado oil it's fantastic stuff another fantastic oil is what i just said here virgin coconut oil check this out you really want to get the virgin stuff in my opinion now even though it's a saturated fat it's a good saturated fat. I know a lot of bad stuff came about coconut oil a while back. Oh, you, some lady's trying to get by. <laughs> We're holding up the shopping here. I know a while back studies came out that this was bad. This is a very special saturated fat because it's rich in lauric acid. Lauric acid is really good for you. And um, it actually lowers your bad cholesterol, raises your good cholesterol, and lauric acid also has antimicrobial properties. Cook with extra virgin coconut oil. It's so good for you and way better than something like canola oil. And then 
When it comes to olive oil, I like to cook with extra virgin olive oil. Not a really expensive one, but something like this. This is a California single source olive oil. It's not a super high quality finishing olive oil, but it's a good one to cook with. Now, in the avocado oil video last week, check this out, Art. I pointed to the wrong one, and you guys called me out on that. I pointed to the Destination series. I actually would not want to get this one because I don't want to get uh, mystery olives from around the world. Stick to a single source like this and then buy a really good bottle, maybe like this, to finish with. This is a finishing olive oil. This is a cooking extra virgin olive oil, okay? Now, if we go back over here, there's a really interesting video uh, from Sally Fallon from Weston A. Price on uh, YouTube. I'll put the link down below. It's called The Oiling of America. And basically around the 1920s, we shifted away from uh, saturated fats that were either from butter, pasture-raised pork lard, to processed plant-based oils like the canola oils and everything. And that's where things really started going wrong. So you're actually better off, in my opinion, using these oils too. Some people get afraid of saturated fats like ghee. Pasture-raised grass-fed ghee is so darn good for you. You're also great using these kind of animal fats. Check it out. Pasture-raised pork fat, pasture-raised grass-fed beef tallow, duck fat. These are good for your brain. These are good for your nervous system. These are not bad. These are not going to make you get high cholesterol. Don't believe that myth. So uh, you guys, that is it. That's my quick little rundown of oils. We've talked about it before, but I think it's really important to keep stressing it because these oils are not only in your kitchen, they're in all these products here around the grocery store. So seek out the good, good ones, get the bad ones out. Uh, if you want to see more videos about certain highlights of the grocery store, leave a comment down below. Uh, like, subscribe, share. That's the only way this channel keeps growing. But Art and I will see you soon. Until then, we leave you like we always do. Hashtag keep on cooking. Mad love and peace. Later, guys.